Yo, yo, it's your boy Trey with Bo Was Abound, bringing you another episode of Blogging About Boas. I just came up with that idea like last week, and um, I'm going to stick with it because I'm using too uh, too much energy trying to decide what I'm going to call this thing. So, Blogging About Boas, um, I think it's got a nice little funny, you know, amusing ring to it. I was going to call it BSing About Boas. And then I'm like, you know, I'm going to keep it uh, PG-13 for everybody. I know, you know, people have children that, that watch the channel <clears throat> and communicate with me, you know, about BOA. So, blogging about BOA as it is. And um, this is technically episode number nine because I did eight other videos, but I didn't have a name for the um, for the channel or whatnot. So, um, the last episode was eight, obviously, and it was just general random BOA constrictor stuff. Um, this is episode nine. And um, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to have a theme this episode, mainly because today is my birthday. So you guys, you guys get something special. You get some special content. Um, what I'm going to be talking about today are or is uh, IMG VPI combos. IMG VPI. If you haven't heard it in one form or another on this you know, YouTube platform or Facebook or Instagram, I know you've heard me say it a million times, IMG, IMG and VPI together um, as, uh, you know, codimes and, and recessive genes go, are my two favorite. They go together, period. Like, I love everything about it. Um, I love the variety. <clears throat> Even with the same genes, they, genes, they interact differently. Um, if you have pastel influence, um, so on and so forth. It's so much variation, um, and I just absolutely love it. Um, so again, this is my birthday edition. Today is my birthday. Um, um, this is my last year of my thirties, man. I'm getting freaking old. It's crazy to say that out loud. I will be 40 years old next year, <laughs> but, uh, back to the boas. Um, again, this is the special birthday boas abound birthday edition. And I'm going to talk about my favorite, uh, IMG VPI combo. So let's get right into it. This is a feisty little IMG Motley Jungle that is uh, IMG VPI Motley Jungle that is possible head for blood as well. Um, little stuck shed on his tail there. I'm just now noticing that. But he's a Spitfire. He will definitely bite me. So I'm not going to get too, too close. But he was looking too good not to record. He, uh, he's actually only a 2021, but he has great size. Sometimes I do things like start uh, feeding on rats a little bit sooner. My general rule of thumb is I wait an entire year before I start feeding rats. But some of my favorites, some of the boas that I want to get up to size quicker, I start feeding um, rats sooner. Now, for the most part, a rat pup is hairless and it's about the same size as like a medium mouse depending on you know who you get your uh your supply your, your rodent supply from um but with that said fur is actually better <clears throat> to help with digestion and uh for firmer stools so that's why typically when they're smaller um it's better to feed prey prey items that have fur because it helps things stick together and have a, a consistent stool because sometimes with pups, rat pups or mouse pups or fuzzies or whatever, actually before they're fuzzies, they're called pinkies, I'm sorry. Um, pinkies, pinky mice and rat pups, sometimes when the boas or when the snakes in general will poop, they will poop runny. And um, it's mainly because after it's digested, there's nothing to keep the stuff together um, that, that's been digested. So it comes out a little bit softer and maybe sometimes even runny. So um, rule of thumb, about a year is when you should start switching over your um, your boas to, um, to rats. Because at that time, the size is adequate enough to start feeding rats that actually have fur. So we're talking weaned, we're talking smalls even. It just depends on, you know, how often you feed. So there you go. This is a breeder IMG VPI Sunglo Motley Jungle. That's right, you heard it. A visual five gene 
banger. Um, he just ate yesterday, so got a little bit of a bulge right there. But um, he's breeding for me this year, man. I, I absolutely love this guy. I have a lot of animals with these same genes, um, four gene animals like with or without hypo, with or without jungle, with or without motley. Um, and then, you know, combinations of IMG and VPI, but he's the only one I have that is all five. And, um, well, actually, that's a lot. He's the only one I have that's all five and breed ready. Um, and he's been breeding for me this year and, uh, not going to really release the details of what I've been breeding him to, but, um, he's been doing an excellent job to be paired up for his first year. Super excited about, uh, what this guy may produce for me. I just love him. Absolutely love him. It's crazy to think that this guy has hypo. I mean, obviously, typically when you put Motley and VPI together, um, I'm sorry, not Motley and VPI, Motley and IMG together, you get a solid black snake. But when you th when you toss VPI in there, you get more of a brownish, goldish color. And then when you toss color and pattern disruptors in there like Jungle and Hypo, it, it just messes everything up. It's so much crazy stuff going on inside this this bowl. He didn't even know how he's supposed to look. But I tell you what, buddy, you look great to me. So this is a IMG Hypo Jungle that is 66 head percent. <laughs> 66 percent het for VPI. Man, I'm stumbling all over my words. Um, Like I said, I'm not editing nothing. Y'all just going to get it raw and uncut. Absolutely gorgeous male. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That hypo and that IMG are fighting each other. So you got a really cool, interesting contrast of colors going on. He is breed ready. Um, he's a 2020 and he is up on Morph Market. Eating medium rats or small rats, whatever you want to do. Um, he's knocked down medium rats before, but uh, for his girth his slenderness i typically just do uh smalls this is a hold back male img jungle who is pet for vpi from pink panther lineage very very pretty boy getting very dark after each shed um i'm thinking about letting him go though I, I got a lot of visuals and i just liked his pattern that's the only reason i held him back for real and that really red red tail um but otherwise i i don't really need him i can become sort of a boa hoarder when i'm breeding and i see something i like in my litter so um yeah i think i might make this guy available so Keep a lookout on my Morph Market account. Again, IMG, 100% um, head for VPI Jungle, and uh, he is from Pink Panther Lineage. So this stunner of a male is a IMG VPI, at least that's, well, and it's supposed to be possible head annery. Um, and it, supposedly there's no jungle in here but he has a full body strike like literally down to the tail saddles um so I, i'm I'll, I'll never pair him with something that is jungle just for peace of mind um but he's just phenomenal i love this guy this is one of my first img vpis um that i purchased and um I just didn't pair him up this year because I had a couple better options. Um, but next year, he's going to go to work for me. But uh, like I said, um, he was sold to me as IMG VPI. Um, that is possible head for Annery. However, um, I'm going to highly, highly lean towards the fact that he probably is jungle as well. Which is okay. So this is probably my favorite all-time IMG VPI combo. It is a IMG VPI Aztec male. 
that we'll be breeding for. I probably should have paired him up this year. He's got the size. He's eating small rats now, but I'm like, eh, I'll just give him a year. Get some more weight on, get some more age on. Um, and uh, I see how he does the next season, but he's probably my top 10, like, all-time favorites. Like, I just love the way IMG, VPI, and Aztec work together. Just absolutely beautiful. I love this dude. Very, very nice. I couldn't even tell you how many <clears throat> four or five gene IMG VPI combos I have. This is a simple three gene combo, and it's just, I mean, it's hard to make this better. I don't even think I would add jungle or anything like that. It's just hard to make this better. This is one of my 2022 holdbacks. She is a Red Panther VPI IMG Motley. I do not think it's jungle in this girl. She's a little spicy, so I'm going to use my hook. Because um, it's, it's a pretty tight, circular um, saddle pattern. So she's probably not jungle. But the color that this tail retained, I think it may be due to the Red Panther pastel. Or it could be jungle. Because regular IMG VPI Motley's do not have smoking red tails like that. None of them that I have held back or purchased. or <clears throat> None of them have tails like that. So it's, it's really, really cool to see the contrast that she has in her head and her saddles. And then that red, I wonder if these will completely disappear one day or if she'll keep this contrast. But absolutely gorgeous animal. Love her. This absolute smoke show of a boa is available on Morph Market. This is a IMG Motley Jungle who is het for VPI. From Pink Panther Lineage. Just beautiful. She'll probably be super dark. Pitch black just like her father. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Not even a year old yet. And almost pitch black. So yeah. I say a few more months. She's going to be as black as they come. Dark as night. If you're looking for an all black snake. The combination of IMG and Motley. Is the way you want to go. The iridescence is absolutely unmatched. Whew. Beautiful. So this is a IMG VPI Sun Glow. I think it also might be jungle. Um, look at that tail. It's purples and reds and oranges and yellows. It's Beautiful colors. I think he might be jungle because he doesn't look like any of his litter mates um, that are also IMG VPI sun glows um, in his jungle in the litter. But he doesn't really have a pattern that screams jungle. And jungle is tricky like that sometimes. Sometimes it just, you know, represents itself um, in color. Sometimes it represents itself in pattern, and sometimes it's both. Jungle, jungle is both a pattern and a color. It, jungle is both a pattern and a color disruptor. Similar to, you know, what Hypo does. Hypo does the same thing. So it could just be how Hypo is expressing itself as well. Who knows? But I know one thing. He is beautiful. Cannot wait till he's ready to breed. He, he actually might be ready to breed. Um year and a half actually he's over a year and a half but i really didn't have a need for him so i didn't even push him um you know this season to see if he would even try <laughs> it sounds like a, a fart in the background because every once in a while if you got a lot of snakes and you're in your snake room they just poop and when it's quiet it's like the funniest thing ever so that was not me farting in the background i'm not pooping one of the snakes that I'm close to the enclosure, one of the larger females, is, is pooping right now. <laughs> I 
funny, funny. So that was episode nine of Blogging About Boas, um, talking about IMG VPI combos, my personal favorites, birthday edition. Um, if you want to support and give me a gift, all you have to do is go to my Morph Market account and purchase a beautiful boa constrictor. It would be really cool if you purchased a IMG VPI combo. They're kind of pricey. So that would be a great gift. <laughs> But in all seriousness, um, go check out my Morph Market account. Link will be below in the description as usual. Um, just continue to support your boy. You know, you got questions, as many of you do, hit me up. Um, if you're interested in stuff that I have, hit me up on Morph Market. You can hit me up directly on my social media accounts. Um, but also, real quick plug, excuse me, I will be giving away an IMG combo um, for February's giveaway. I typically do, um, you know, a few giveaways each season. And basically what I do is you purchase one of my, um, exclusive t-shirts that automatically puts you in a running to get this snake. Snakes are always, you know, valued at over a thousand dollars. I think this one is like $1,250 or something like that. You'll get all the details. If you follow me on Instagram at Boas Abound or Facebook Boas Abound. Um, and I'll just keep you guys updated, but keep a lookout on that. I'll probably release the information, the t-shirt design, um, and all of that good stuff. Probably the last day of January. So the first day of February, you guys can start uh, putting your orders in and, um, one of you will be the lucky winner. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, I'm trying to stay consistent and give you guys content. Uh, I'm a man of my word. At least I try to be. And um, again, as usual, as always, bowls over everything. Bowls over everything. Until next time, peace.